everybody. I'm doing a follow-up session for a client, so I'm going to be sharing psychic wisdom and energy healing. If any of you are interested in booking a session with me, you can do so at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, if you're interested in checking out the previous session, I'm going to put a link in the description. I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to work with you, and thank you also for sharing here with us on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to read your goals and get started. So you say, you would like to continue to work with your higher self and Archangel Metatron to release doubt, old programming, low self-esteem, and all else in order to self-actualize within this new reality as myself, alive, and aligned as one with life force energy and the unfolding of my purpose. <laughs> that is so flippin' well said. All right. So the previous experience was a quantum leap, all right? And being in that new reality and everything we need to shed in order to actually be present in it, fully aware of it. So I'm just going to relax. Let me just get connected here to higher self Archangel Metatron, okay? Any of the stuff that we're ready to shed in order for you to actually experience the quantum leap. <sighs> But I love this. To self-actualize in a new reality as myself, alive. Aligned as one with life force energy and the unfolding of my purpose is flipping awesome. Okay. Okay. I'm so ready for this. Going to relax now. Get started. Your higher self, Archangel Metatron. So, okay, <laughs> I'm so high vibe right now because I'm so excited and I have to chill out and vibrationally I have to slow down and they're wanting to take me to your energy field, okay? All right, I see you and you're pushing a large sphere, spherical object and it's heavy. And it's basically made out of dense glass. It's pretty looking. And I'm just kind of looking at the scene and everything around you is just this black energy, okay? And you're really hard at work. I mean, you're really hard at work moving this, pushing this sphere forward, okay? Almost like you have to take it with you, like you're a dung beetle, okay? And you got your big ball of poop, but you gotta take it with you, right? <laughs> it's your stash, man. Okay, so you've got this big sphere. You gotta take it somewhere. I don't know what its purpose is. Okay, let's see. Oh, self-actualizing. Okay, so, so Metatron actually is wanting you to look at this and stop what you're doing, okay? And then just stand here and then let's self-actualize and what you're actually putting your energy into, okay? And is it is it really getting you somewhere? What you're putting your energy into that, is it getting you where you wanna go? Or is it just, you're putting your energy into something that's literally, um, where are you taking it versus where is it taking you? It's not um, fruit a fruitful choice, okay? So really to investigate in your life, okay? What are you putting your energy into? And ask yourself, what are you getting out of that experience in order to accomplish what you wanna get out of this life, right? Is it helping you get where you wanna go? Or is it just something you're hanging on to? That's literally, I mean, this fear has no real purpose. It's not helping you. It's just, it's just, I guess it's in front of you, shielding you, maybe? You, you're really like a dung beetle and you got the big ball, okay? <laughs> and you're moving it wherever you need it to go. And you're proud of this. But no, it, it's not really helping you. <laughs> okay. Now Metatron is taking a hammer and he is just hits it once on the side and it starts to crack the sphere in every direction. It's not easy to break it. Man, he's like vibrating how much he loves you, adores you. He just, his energy is this beautiful wafting um, incense. 
it's a beautiful scent to it and it's I can see it color wise and it's just rippling um, it's very silky you know how they they have those chocolate commercials and the silky chocolate and they're the chocolate professionals that make these special chocolate and it looks so ribbony and wonderful um, this is ribbony okay it's really ribbony and it's like white and um, silvery colors different shades of blue and it's just ribboning ribboning out towards you and it, it smells wonderful like like a beautiful scent of incense okay and as he's uh we're looking at this crack sphere he's sending this energy to you how much he loves you and adores you and really grateful that you're calling upon him to help you he's really thankful and enjoy enjoying it okay enjoying helping you so he's doing this for you but you're gonna have to finish the job okay so he hands you the hammer but you act clueless like oh what am i supposed to do <laughs> and he's like um, it, it's it's he's making a funny joke about this okay because we see it in the scene okay and he he just showed you what he did to crack it and he hands you the hammer like to follow suit and you're just like uh clueless <laughs> i don't know if you're playing a mind game but you're acting like completely clueless like you don't want to put in the work to finish the job you just want Metatron to do it for you. No, <laughs> you do it together, okay? It's a shared experience, okay? He's making another kind of joke about the dung beetle is doing it all by himself, moving that big ball of doo-doo. And now we're working together to crack your ball. <laughs> Something funny like this, okay. He, okay, I'm sorry. We're still in the same funny um, conversation because he shows me the dung beetle. It's a big like poop ball and he puts the hammer on and it cracks and it crumbles and the dung beetle's like, Ooh, why did you do that? <laughs> and, <laughs> but it's like you're here with Metatron and this is a big sphere that's not serving your purpose. The poop, for some reason, that's its life. Okay, this isn't your life. It isn't. And you need to put forth the energy into breaking this down and you do the work. You do the work, but I'm here doing the work with you. You're not doing it alone, okay? And it's actually not a sad thing. It's actually an abundantly beautiful thing, okay? Sad for dung beetle, not for you, okay? <laughs> you really are avoiding. You're really like resistant, like don't make me do any work. You're a little princess. You don't do work. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. All right. Hammer. You can do it. You're like, ah. <laughs> You're not even like putting forth any strength. Okay. Um, and Metatron is showing you that this, this activity is giving you an introduction to your true strength. Because my God, are you strong? You're really strong. So you are playing this like ridiculous act and acting like you're delicate, <laughs> a delicate flower and you can't, you're not doing it, man. You, you've got the strength to just crumble this thing. Um, so who are you playing the mind game with? Us or yourself, yourself okay? Um, activate yourself. Don't play mind games with yourself. Activate yourself, okay? I'm loving this, by the way. It's so fun. Okay. Oh, okay. You, you actually thank Metatron because this is giving you access to another side of who you are and you're really wanting to go into that. And in a way, this is bringing up the, the path, the vibrational node of energy that you're looking for. And we created the perfect um, sequence of events and interactions in order for you to access it. And I feel it in your emotional gut, okay? And you really, it's really amazing because you stand here with all confidence and say, you know what, I get it. I, I know what you're talking about and you're helping me to access it inside myself and I'm ready to work on this. And you're kind of saying, I know it's there's an energy process here, but I also have to take the bull by the horns in the physical and actually do the effort otherwise i'm not building the learning so this is this is an interesting discussion because let's say we're building the learning in our mind 
kids in electronics are building the learning in their mind, but not building the learning in the physical action. So they're not training their mind to tell their body how to do the work out there. And so we're doing this energy work for you. Now you got to take, um, you got to step into the physical with it and make some decisions, okay? Um, that you're going to follow through with the build the learning blocks in your mind and how it interacts with your body and how you're emotionally working through it, etc. in the physical reality, okay? And you're the one telling us this. You're the one acknowledging that this, I get it. I get it. Okay. So let's see where this goes inside your emotional gut. Yeah, you want to go, it's like, you're like, you ask me to take you, like you ask us to take you there, but you already know where it is. I find that interesting. Um, and there's kind of an echo about it. So I'm asking you to take us there. Um, so it's kind of an echoing, take us there, take me there. Um, it's all kind of echoing around. You're vulnerable. You're admitting it. You, you put your hand on the Bible before the judge and you admit the truth. You're vulnerable to this. And there's still so much major resistance as we're trying to go in to an energy space in your emotional gut where the wind is blowing us back. Everything is pushing us back when we're trying to go in. And that's just the, the insecurity of seeing what this is about, okay? So, oh, this is hardcore. It's also affecting your throat, self-expression. Uh, it's doughy. It's kind of a yellowy color and it's like air, air made out of a doughy substance. And I'm, I'm actually squishing it and it's completely full of this doughy substance. I say, I want you to acknowledge the memory that's making you the most vulnerable about this. I want you then to reveal the memory to us. You know what it is. You're playing mind game with yourself. We are ready to do this. Don't hold yourself back. Let's do the follow through. What's the memory? You have a lot of difficult memories. You say it, it it's the sound of bones breaking and you take us to a, a field and it's there's no flesh there's just, but there's a lot of bones in the field and it's a gloomy sky okay but then you show me a kind of like a machine that that's pulling the bones inside of it and then it's it's like bones snapping and breaking and then you show me what is like twigs on the ground and stepping on twigs and you can hear the twigs snapping and breaking This is really awful. You show me you're in an environment that is unsafe. And you show me a man and he's actually in black, like he's gonna rob a bank in black. And uh, he has a black kind of mm, mask for like really cold days, you know, a black outfit. And you're representing a, a female in his environment is also your environment. You're not saying that he's your husband. You're not saying, is he your brother? Is he your grandpa? Is he a what? A, you know, somebody you know. And he takes you by the arm and he's quite violent. And you've heard your own bones breaking and this man has broken your bones. It's also paralleling with this other scene with death and the bones, exposed bones. And this is getting really horrendous because the exposed bones on the field, the field starting to look like skin with bones popping out through the skin. And you, you want to vomit from this and you can't cope with, with the sound of breaking bones and uh, bones exposed popping out through the skin, okay? And again, you, you share a similar message about how when you choose leadership, when you choose to put your strength in action at, and things are breaking, right? The sound of this breaking sphere is actually triumphant. But to you, it's exposing you. So it is in front of you for a reason because you're hiding behind it. 
you're saying that, oh, it's something special, you know, I need to take this into my new life. But it's all um, an illusion. It's all manipulated language um, that sounds real, sounds good, sounds functional, but it's completely based on insecurities, okay? And so when you come out into presenting yourself as a strong person, a strong leader, somebody who can take the bull by the horns in this physical world and guide people with great visions, okay? It exposes you. And there's a major discomfort with being exposed. I talked to you about this scene though, because the female at the breaking of the bones by the man, this is an enclosed environment where nobody else is here but you too. And so was she really representing a leader that was exposed or was she maybe an abused woman and behind closed doors? See, there's a lot in the bucket here and it's all kind of coming out at the same time. So let's just work through this for a little bit. You don't want anybody to hurt you. You really don't want anybody to hurt you. And you would rather pretend to be somebody who's not very strong um, so that you can have a simpler life. This again is a major thing that you're going to be working on, okay? Is acknowledging how strong you are and then putting yourself at the forefront of, I mean, anything you want to do with your life. Y you, you need to define, you need, you need to state it, you need to, to represent it, like you need to own it. You need to own it, okay? <clears throat> that you're strong and that you're a leader. All these fears about the bones breaking right now, it doesn't matter if it was in war or if it was behind closed doors, exposed because you were a leader or because you were an abused woman. And all this stuff is part of the divine learning your soul wanted to participate in. And that divine learning has nothing to do with today's divine learning. It's just an overlapping. It's just overlapping and it's convincing you that, that you need to make cautious, secure decisions in order to not endure any kind of pain in this life. You don't want to endure any kind of pain in this life. Like you really emanate that, you don't want pain in this life. And so it's, it always, it's, it's such an interesting topic, which pain? Physical pain, emotional pain. Physical pain can be emotional pain. Um, but if it's just emotional pain, where is that coming from? What's causing that emotional pain? If physical pain, we might be able to put our finger on what caused that physical pain, right? Now it can create emotional pain too, but what pain don't you want? What kind of pain are you trying to avoid here? Um, but what kind of pain? Like ask yourself, what, what pain am I trying to avoid? You could say, uh, am I trying to avoid emotional pain? Am I trying to avoid physical pain? And ask yourself these questions and just see what answer you, you have to answer the question. It's fun, okay? Answer the question. Am I trying to avoid emotional pain? Let me see. Okay, I'm just gonna say yes, because I, I don't really know. Am I trying to, I don't know. So I'm gonna try yes, okay, yes. Let's say I am trying to avoid emotional pain. Yes, okay, okay. So why are you trying to avoid emotional pain? Because I don't want to be hurt. I don't... Okay, well, why don't you want to be hurt? Because getting hurt sucks. Okay, but in life, has there been a moment in life where you've been hurt? Yeah, what did you do? I worked through it. Okay, so is it okay to feel emotional pain? Is it okay to feel physical pain? This could be even make you feel sensitive to talk about it with yourself... I'm telling you, this is an activity. You should definitely try it, okay? It can make you feel vulnerable to do this with yourself because it's going to bring some things up to the surface. This is an activity that you are participating in in the physical and you're getting to know yourself. You're doing internal work. This is the breaking down of that sphere that you don't need blocking you, blocking your way because we want to see you too. We want to have access to you too and that's a safe experience. If you get hurt, you're going to have to work through it. You're going to get hurt. Life is... Part of the, that's part of the process is you're going to get hurt. So don't be afraid of that. Don't even say things like, oh, guides, protect me um, from getting hurt. Protect me from the, the, the terrors of this world. Um, that's not appropriate. You need to always feel safe in the experience, 
safe in the process, safe in the conflict, safe in what you don't want to be digesting right now, physically, mentally, emotionally, soul level stuff. You have to feel safe in it because it's part of the process. Life is part of the process. Life includes challenge, okay? So get to know your relationship with pain and talk yourself into places where it feels safe and secure because this is going to help you feel safe being strong, the strong person that you are and put it, presenting yourself, okay? So this is what Metatron is showing us here. This is what I meant to share with you. It's, what a cool message, what a cool process. I'm just kind of lingering just to see if there's anything else. Does it feel like we're tying up all the loose energetic ends, you know? Feels well-rounded. So you say, okay, so what do, it's like, okay, so, so I'm, it's kind of like, okay, so, so tell me one more time, what do you want me to do? <laughs> or what have we accomplished here today? Um, so let's just come full circle with it. All right. We're getting to see you in a new light from a new angle of yourself and your vulnerabilities. And how do we take it from the energy space into the physical space? You can even ask yourself this. How do I take what I'm learning from this energy space and these sessions and bring it into a physical process? What are some of the things I can do in the physical world that are actually um, enhancing my um, energetic process? Because you've already taken the quantum leap. You're already there. So now let's keep working on mm, shedding the skins, right? To help you to be more present in who you are. And that's a lifetime of work right there and you may never even get to it by the end and that's fine because this is there's no end you know we just keep working on ourselves and learning and growing together right so ask yourself some fun questions to get to know yourself even ask yourself what is my purpose and say okay i'm gonna just ask myself what is my purpose and then see what what i say see what comes out of my insides on as the answer not from my brain from my deep in, inner world, okay? What is my purpose? You may have somebody funny come make a voice like, oh, your purpose is to pick your nose. Like, okay, why would I say that is my purpose? Because that's a funny guide in there. That's a funny voice in there. Okay, now ask the question again, what is my purpose? Okay, well, my purpose is, is to live, right? So, okay. Uh, my purpose is to live. Okay, so what is it about living that is my purpose? And how do I want to express myself in the purpose of living? And answer these questions from inside yourself. They'll come to you, okay? Thank you so much for this. I'm really glad that we got to do this follow-up. I wish you well in this process, and thank you everybody for watching. Take care.